Hey, I'm Tiffany Youngren from OMH Agency. And you know, I was in real estate, my husband and I built a successful real estate agency over the course of about 15 years. And it seemed like over that time, we spent a lot of time kind of doing things cutting edge, breaking out of, uh, breaking away from the crowd and just trying new things. And if you're a successful real estate agent, you can probably relate to the fact that often if you're doing something really cool, uh, it isn't very well received by your peers. So as you can imagine, we were doing things like putting addresses on ads and oh my gosh, it was scandalous. We were one of the first in our area to have a website which uh, was built first by a developer and then I ended up building our websites from there. So that's how I got my start in uh, web development. And as uh, over the course of time, I've you know marketed for a lot of industries and one thing remains true and that is the fact that your website is one of your most important salespeople. So that brings me to today's point. Stop competing with Zillow. Now you might be wondering, what do you even mean? Of course I'm not competing with Zillow. But let me ask you this. Do you use your website? Do you use the search feature of your own website to get leads? If the answer is yes, then you kind of are competing with Zillow. It's okay to have a search on your website just as kind of a feature that you want to you know, provide value to people. However, if you think about going out into the internet, the last thing that any of us wants is one more choice, one more app, one more place to go to do the same thing you can do in about a thousand other places at least. So what I want to encourage you to do is to break away Stop feeling like you're a slave to having to have this big, heavy, expensive feature on your website. It has its upsides. It can add to SEO. It can also take away from SEO. So let's just eliminate that altogether. And back to my point of your website being your most, one of your most important salespeople. Every single page is like an employee. It needs to have a goal and a way to accomplish the goal. And you need to watch and make sure that those goals are being met, and if they're not, make adjustments. So, what I would like to challenge you to do is to think about that. Push yourself, think about how can I get leads from my website my own way? And the first step that I suggest is to consider your superpower. What is it that sets you apart from other agents? With that in mind, you know how to answer questions for your clients. You understand what their most important issues are at hand right now. There are probably questions that you answer over and over and over again. Well, guess what? Your website is, is your employee, so make it earn its keep. Make sure that, it, that you are answering those questions. Questions that you guess asked a lot can probably be made into some kind of guide or giveaway or something that provides value not only to your clients, but to potential leads, to your prospects. So if you were to go and think about buyers and what is it they're constantly asking you for, think about, just really push yourself and think about what is something that you can give to them that even the best kind of giveaway, it hurts you a little bit to give it away. Like if you give it out there, your competitors are gonna read it. Um, and what if they don't need to call you because you're giving them all this information? Well, over the years, I can promise you that being the one who provides the timely, necessary information to your audience, you are going to be the hero. They're still gonna call you. Um, they're still, in fact, not only are they gonna call you, but they're gonna feel like you're the one who's willing to give them what they need when they need it. So think about a giveaway. Another thing is you can create multiple landing pages. So you can create a buyer's landing page and a seller's landing page just for that giveaway. And there are a lot of ways to integrate it within your website and use it even further. So if you have a blog, which if you don't, you should really consider having a blog. They're magical and I could probably go in for an hour about how amazing blogs are and how they can you know, exponentially grow your presence online and do all this work while you're off showing houses, your website's like doing a lot of the work for you. But anyway, so if you get the giveaways, have the landing pages. If you do have a blog, 
let's say you have a, a buyer's category and a seller's category, and then you have a giveaway or a download or a guide or a tool that, that you exchange for someone's email address. So they go to your website on the landing page, they can enter in their email address and they get this wonderful thing that you've given them with, with the most amazing value. Well, take that giveaway and give it away on your blog post as well. Because guess what? One of the magic of a blog post is that every time you write a blog post, there's a keyword search term that suddenly your website, that page of your website can rank for on search engines. What do I mean by that? Let's say you write a blog post on the Fed and interest rates and where they're going and how that could affect you as a buyer. Should you buy now? Should you buy later? So you write a blog post about it. Well, think about the number of search terms that can be within the body of that blog post. So someone's on Google and they're looking up, should I buy now? And suddenly your blog post is the first thing that they see from you. So they read your blog post and they're like, oh my gosh, this person's brilliant. Thank you for providing this timely information to me. And they're reading and then they see, oh wow, they've got a giveaway. Oh my gosh, that would be so helpful. So, so suddenly that each blog post is a lead capture page. So hopefully this gives you a couple good actionable things that you can do to really not only break apart from the pack, but get those leads that you want not only get those leads that you want, but provide content that dominates Mindspace with your audience. Have a great Tuesday.